Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. From the Big Family Homestead. And I gotta tell you what, today, this is one of your favorite recipes, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's chicken pot pie day. Mm -hmm. Chicken pot pie is one of my favorites. It's comfort food. It's, well, it's Claire's favorite too. And it's now that we're using Thrive, it is so much easier to make. Super fast, mm -hmm. super tasty, mm -hmm. and easy. Yep. And uh, well, um, I'm gonna be behind the camera, mama's fingers in the pot, and let's show you guys the uh, ingredients and let's get to it. All right, as always, super basic, easy ingredients. We've got four cups of flour, we've got two teaspoons of salt. We've got water, but you're gonna have to see that it's gotta be the right consistency, so I can't really give you an exact measurement just yet. And we also have over here, three quarters cup of not softened butter, but actually nice and cold butter. And before I forget, this recipe will feed our crew of seven, plus a little bit with leftovers. Now for the filling, we have a half a cup of butter, half a cup of flour, one cup of celery, one cup of chopped onions, one cup of sweet corn, one cup of carrots, two cups of chicken, and three tablespoons of bouillon. Now, if you're using store-bought ingredients, the equivalent uh, to our Thrive recipe is the same as store-bought ingredients. And one more thing, we're gonna use some garlic when we saute our onions and celery, and we're gonna use a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. All right, first things first, we have our four cups of all-purpose flour. We're gonna go ahead and add two teaspoons of our salt to it. And by the way, that is the actual sea salt stuff. You can use whatever you like, we just use it. We use our we use the Himalaya salt and we really like it, but you can use whatever kind of salt you would like. And it's not as salty as like the table salt, the white table salt. No, it is not. So I mix that salt in there. Now I'm gonna take our cubed up butter into our flour and we're gonna smash this flour up into the butter into the flour so that it makes it look like crumbled like a pea consistency not like green peas consistency green peas green peas consistency <laughs> not like that <laughs> this is a pastry cutter and it cuts up the dough no it cuts up the butter into the flour and it mixes it together and makes it really nice, a coarse meal. Now you don't have to use one of these gadgets. You can use a fork. This just makes the job a heck of a lot easier. All right, so this is what we're looking for. Nice coarse meal so you can see the clumps of butter in there, but that is the yummy part. That's gonna make a nice flaky crust. Now I've got some ice cold water and I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons in at a time. And what are you looking for? I'm looking for a kind of a wet dough that's thick. It's gonna take a little time to get to that. Now this is what we're looking for. And all in all, I used about 15 tablespoons of water. Super cold water. Super cold ice water. My ice had already melted. But um, when your air is drier, you're gonna add more water. If it's wet, you're gonna add less water. You mean in terms of humidity? Yes, in terms of humidity. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and divide this dough into two pieces, one for the bottom crust and one for the top crust. And I'm gonna wrap it in some plastic and let it rest in the refrigerator while we make our filling. All right, so I molded it into a square so that it's easier to roll out. No, not a square, a rectangle, so that it's easier to roll out into a rectangle. You can make your pot pies in whatever shape uh, you would like. If you want round pie pans, that's you can do that, but we just like to use our nine by 13. What about heart-shaped ones for Valentine's Day? Yes, you can do heart-shaped ones for Valentine's Day. Now for our filling, we're gonna go ahead and rehydrate our, our celery and our onions. And it's going to make a basic cream of soup. We just need a little bit of water in each of those. And that's hot water. This is hot water, cause I'm putting them into something hot. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our butter in the pot to go ahead and melt. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add our heaping tablespoon of garlic. <laughs> we love garlic. That is not one tablespoon, no, but I love it. It was not. 
but that's okay. Saute that up for a minute. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our celery and onions to this. Oh boy, I wish you could smell this. This is just delightful. Mm -hmm. Now I prefer to have mushrooms in my cre in my chicken pot pie, but the family doesn't, so. And we thank you for that. I will leave them out. We thank you. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get our flour in here and get that sauteing for just a minute, just so that that flour taste gets out of there. Uh, floury soup does not taste very good at all. And it's not really a soup, it's gonna be thicker than that. Right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add our bouillon to our water. It gives it that yummy chicken flavor. And then we're gonna get that mixed into our flour, onions, and celery. Oh, you're spilling, I you're know, spilling. I know, Party foul. I know, it happens. Now what I'm doing here is I'm scraping off all the yummy flour bits that were stuck to the bottom. With the butter. With the butter. So yummy. If you're using store-bought ingredients, I had added four cups of water with our broth, and this is ready to go to go ahead and add your already cooked chicken and your carrots and your uh, corn. But since we're using our Thrive. We have to add a little bit more water to rehydrate our chicken, carrots, and corn. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add our one cup of corn, which is super delightful. And our one cup of carrots. Now these are dehydrated. These are not freeze dried. So they take a little bit longer to rehydrate than everything else. And look how fast she chopped those things up. I know. Look how fast this chicken got this chicken cooked is. and chopped. Yeah. It's a thing of beauty. Mm -hmm. It's like my baby. <laughs> Give this a quick stir, and then we'll see how much water we need to add. Doesn't look like much. Nope. If you want it thicker than, you know, a thin soup, but you would also don't want to make paste either. Right. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add about a quarter of a cup just to rehydrate those carrots when they're cooking. And we are almost home. Mm -hmm. That is looking and smelling really amazing. Yep. Now our filling's gonna sit right over here while we go ahead and get our pie crust rolled out for our chicken pot pie. Okay, so we're gonna flour our pastry mat. We're gonna roll out our dough very carefully. And here's the square it's going here's into. The, yes, this is the square it's going Rectangle into. Rectangle to be more right. precise. Right. Roll, roll, roll the dough just because we want to eat or something like that, what do you think? <laughs> New hit, hit song. Now the tricky part. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this into fours. Hopefully it won't tear apart when I put it into the pan. Like a boss, come on baby. Yeah. You got it? Ooh, almost. All right. The tricky part. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press this into the pan. Into the corners. Into the corners so that it fills up the whole thing. Look, oh, looky there, I missed a corner. So you can see, it's in there, it's done, it's filled up the whole shell. I am no pastry chef, it is not perfect. Those corners will still be tasty. Yes, they will. Now it's time for the filling? Yes, well, no, I'm gonna roll out the top first, then we'll put the filling in. Gotcha. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What? What? Keep rolling. All right, now we've got our pie crusts rolled out. We're gonna go ahead <clears throat> and take our filling and put it into our pan, carefully. Now we're ready to go ahead and put our pie crust on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and try again and fold this in half, and quarters, I should say. Once again, mama, Ooh. like a boss. Ooh. Woot woot, the crowd goes wild. Yeah, 
To make a pretty crust, I'm gonna go ahead and fold this under, like so. That'll be a thick side over there. <laughs> and then I'm going to crease it. So I'm gonna take my two fingers on my left hand, or if you're right hand, or if you're left handed, you can switch it around, but I take my two fingers, finger and thumb and index finger, and my index finger on my left hand, right hand, and press it together. So it seals that crust. Looking good, baby. And the pot pie too. Ha ha ha. Now one more thing before we pop this baby in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and put an egg wash on it. So I'm gonna take one egg, crack it into a bowl. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon of water. About. About, I never measure it. We're gonna whisk this egg. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a pastry brush and just brush along the top of this crust so that it makes it nice and golden brown. Golden brown when it's baked, of course. Well, yes. Because it's kind of yellowish right now. Yes. Now I'm gonna just put a little slit down the middle here so that it has uh, some steam. If there's any steam, it can come out. So it doesn't just make a big fat bubble. Exactly. Now this baby's ready to go into a 400 degree oven for about 20 or 30 minutes until it's golden brown on top. Just gotta keep an eye on it. Yep. We waited our time, and it is done. Woo wee, look at that. Look at that. Hot stuff with hot stuff. Mm -hmm. My, 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 that looks delightful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the wait is over. Feast your eyeballs on this. This looks delightful, mama. Ladies first. It's your fork. Oh, my fork. Yes, it's your Don't fork. cross the screens. No. Sure. Get a little bit of the crust there. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. The bottom's giving you trouble, huh? A little bit. It's all good. Careful. Sugar. Ooh. Alrighty. Mm. <laughs> I'm not touching it. <laughs> a little warm? No, not at all. I'm glad we've got this on film. Because I'm still cooling mine. No, I had too big of a bite. Mmm. <laughs> it's really good. Mm. It's too big of a bite and I got it all over my face. <laughs> it was good stuff. Mm -hmm. More done, Mama. Mm. Thanks. Well, there you have it, folks. Delicious chicken pot pie mm -hmm. in what? If, if we weren't making the video, maybe... maybe Half hour? Maybe. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you don't make the crust and you just buy the store-bought um, ones that are in a square, it'd be easy. 12 minutes. Yeah. Oh, super easy. No chopping. No nope, chopping. Not a single chop. Yep. Love it. So there you have it. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. And you go make some chicken pot pie because you will not regret it. Mm -hmm. Have an amazing day.